What's the buzz? A Brown Star here. Cyber Power News Network. And I'm going to try to get explain or, or let other people explain why you can't turn a hoe into a wife. So this uh, little episode it shows how uh, women are uh, especially single single parents single women are so desperate to have a man that they don't even take the advice of their daughters or their young daughters or the young sons when they let mom know hey you know no, something something funny going on it, it's something stinking in Denmark Okay, so check it out. It's not going to come out yet. It happened again. Talk to you. Talking about what? You came in my room again. What? He came in my room. Here we go with this chief. Well, I mean, okay, he came in your room with what? Yeah, what? Well, you touched me. Touch me. Yeah, what? 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 Yeah, here you go with the same bullshit. I thought we had this fucking conversation already. I don't even want to fucking do this shit no more. So what? What else? What? What did you want to tell? Him? Tell him. He touched you. What did you do? What did you do for him to touch you? I didn't do anything. I was asleep. It was after y'all came back from the club. You know what? Your dumb ass. Every time I look up, you got so. Last night when me and him came from the club, he came in your room last night. What did you do? The fuck I was, did you do? I was asleep. Okay, and then he did what? What the fuck did he do? What did he, he do? Touched, he touched me. Touched you where? Touched me in the wrong places. I I'm sick of this bullshit. For real, this is a good mother. You man, you run around all I'm day in the booty shorts. What the fuck was you doing when he came over here? And he came you out the room. Why are you mad? my motherfucking daughter. You trying to take my motherfucking man? That's a problem. I'm not trying to take your That's man. That's a problem. Why are you wearing them little ass shorts when he's here? You bought them. Okay, I fucking bought them. For you. Yeah. But when, a, when my man come up in this motherfucker, you ain't supposed to. More than once that her boyfriend was coming into her room and touching her. So how much more warning do you need? You know, I mean, I don't remember relationships I was in with, with, you know, where a, a, a woman had a, a daughter or young daughters, you know, she would put me in check. Hey, you know, make sure you don't, don't be, you know, I hope you ain't, you know, and, and you know what I'm saying? I, I, but that's the, that's the thing all mothers, all single mothers should do when they bring a man into their house. They should let them know, hey, don't touch my daughter. You know, and, and you shouldn't think that they won't. So I'm I'm gonna uh I'm gonna uh audio read uh my uh my comment on this whole situation. I'm A Brown Star. This is Cyber Power News Network. And this is the Cyber Power News Hour. All right. Check it out. I'll be coming at you and giving you my opinion after I show you a few more clips. When the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. 
And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. I, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hath thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gathered to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of my wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life, thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field, in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of its waste thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins, and clothed them. I had her phone, we switched phones that day, so I was texting the guy like I was her, and then he sent me a picture. So uh, the same guy that posted her cousin, that? Wait a minute That's now. That's not true. Not, not true. Is this the grass cutting guy? Yes. He recognized the guy's <laughs> face through my messages. The guy hit me up and said, hey, I never replied back. So he played like he was me and was writing the guy, asking the guy all kinds of questions. And did he enjoy my sex? I didn't say but that. I, did you, hold I on, Mr. Lovett. Did you request no, 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 a name no, yet? No, yeah. No, yeah. No. All of this. <sighs> Leads you to doubt yes. that Corey Jr. Because he's saying another man child. cutting my grass. Yes. Was there anything else going on? You can't get pregnant by somebody cutting the grass. Why don't you think Corey Jr. is your son? I got she was involved with another guy. That's what I need to know. All right. All right. So at the time Corey Jr. was conceived, you believe Miss Jackson was involved with someone else. Right. Tell the court, what do you know? 
I know that she went out with another guy and I know she was chilling with another guy at the time we broke up and it was no baby around. Then some time go later, now you're pregnant. Maybe because you now you need a father figure for all your kids and somebody that now you want to I need a father figure for all my kids. Back. My kids have a father figure. With me? Yeah. Also, she's still married, so I wasn't taking and my it serious was in the beginning. Upon until I got so pregnant, I'm still not so now we got serious. kids in between the marriage. So now we have to take an extra step, get parenting, and get proof that he's not the. You know what I'm saying? What else was you doing with her marriage? She got pregnant again by another guy, and then you turn around and get pregnant by me. He, what he's trying to every say year is, since you've been 18, I already baby, had a child baby, between baby, the marriage baby, baby, before him. You knew me before. You knew how I was. You knew my facts that I was married before we even got sexually intimate. If it was a problem, you should have just walked away. Not only that, it's like you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. I just wish that I, I, I could have got a divorce before we had kids. That's all. Because every time we get into an argument, he's always throwing up the fact that I'm still married. But you are convinced Mr. Lovett is Corey Jr.'s father. Oh, that yeah. That you're convinced of. Oh, yeah. She can't stay alone. And it shows whether I'm in her life or not, she going to keep it moving. It ain't my fault I look good. Yeah, you I can't go to the mailbox without trying to cause a car accident. But you got a lot of kids. You it ain't my fault I look good. You got a lot of kids, and they need to learn their ABCs. Listen, you are a beautiful young woman. But you do have trouble being alone. Yeah, and that's not because you're beautiful. Right. That's not how you look on the outside. That's how you feel on the inside, babe. Okay. <laughs> Miss Jackson, I'd like to hear from your husband. <clears throat> Watch your step going up the, up the steps. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Coleman. How you doing? Very well, thank you. How long have you been married to Miss Jackson? Six years. Six years. Separated for four years. In your mind, is there any chance you are Corey Jr.'s biological father? No, Your Honor. None? No. I have my own life going on. I just had two beautiful twins. I'm just waiting for my divorce for them two to get their self together so I could finally have my divorce. It's holding off both of our life. We both can't get divorced. He has another woman, other kids in between the marriage. I have another man and kids between the marriage. We can't get a divorce because this boy won't sign an affidavit saying that those are his Y'all should have been got a divorce before you met me. Yeah, you're and right. before your other baby daddy. When, so when I met you, it was me, pending. Bro. Well, you're in legal limbo. You are. Because a court is going to look out for the best interests of the child. If you got divorced today, all the children she's had, they be presumed to be yours. Yep. Yes. That means you'd be responsible for child support for all those children. That's, and yes, that's what I keep trying to tell him. Like, why, why wouldn't you sign the affidavit? Do you know if something was to happen to me that he's their father legally? Yes, he is. Yeah, you are correct. You ain't mind. even got no rights to your own children. Well, I'm still going to get If something was to happen to me, he's Your their legal father. Before we, this, I was going to find your son. out. Baby, my we have two results today. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Lovett versus Jackson, when it comes to one-year-old Corey Lovett Jr., it has been determined by this court. Mr. Coleman, you are not his father. In the case of Lovett versus Jackson, when it comes to one-year-old Corey Lovett Jr., it has been determined by this court. Mr. Lovett, you are not his father. I told this. That's why I wanted to get DNA. Are you sure? How is that possible? Do you know who his father is? You know who it is. Oh. <sighs> oh my God. Oh my God. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. And I have to ask you for Corey Jr.'s sake. Do you, have you ever mentioned to this gentleman that he could possibly be Corey Jr.'s father? Oh. Have you all had a discussion? Have you talked about it with the other gentleman that it's a possibility? Yes. But you never cheat on me. We wasn't uh, together. Oh, we break up time. so much. We every break, up, we break so up so much. You, you mess with a guy you just met, fool. Yeah, Soon yeah she's a damn fool. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm saying it's like the, the biggest problem, the biggest problem that that women have is and it's really just an excuse because they they want to they want to fuck anyway they want to fuck somebody else anyway just like men uh, uh, see something better and they want it a woman is the same but the only thing is don't make the excuse well he did it that's what my ex-wife used to say if you ever do it i'm gonna do it i'm thinking like this shit is in japan too but anyway yeah she was a damn fool i didn't i Remember, I didn't remember that episode where I thought that the baby turned out to be his, but the baby wouldn't even be his. And it's like, and it wasn't the, the ex, it wasn't the husband, and it wasn't the boyfriend. So it's like, what the fuck? What, what is it? You know, and it's like, a lot of these girls from from the down south area, you know, they, they off the damn chain. It's like, you can't find a wife. And if you don't find a virgin, hell, a virgin, you know, uh, what they call Papa Cherry, then she's your wife. But men, most men are not looking for her because she'll end up, she's their wife, because there ain't, ain't nothing biblical about us these days anyway. Or, you know, women, black people, white people, it don't matter, you know, because uh, these white women do the same thing. I'll show you some more stuff. Uh, Judge uh, Judge Lake is handling Judge Lake is she's a brilliant judge. I'm, I'm a brown star, and I can testify to this sort of situation. I, 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 I know all my children. This one mine, but I know all my children are mine because I, I always knew what to do to to keep my wives in order, my babies' mamas. Well, anyway, this is Cyber Power News Hour, the network, Cyber Power News Network, Cyber Power News Hour, so I'll be running some more stuff by you guys here, so I hope you enjoy it. Mr. Moore, you came to court today to prove you are. You and your current girlfriend claim the defendant has played on your emotions for four years and has allowed another man to raise your little girl. You are desperate to put the defendant's doubt to rest so you can finally be in your daughter's life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Scott, you say you are positive Mr. Moore is not your daughter's biological father. Once the test proves you right, you want Mr. Moore to leave you and your child alone. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Mr. Moore, you say you've always believed Allie is your daughter. Tell me why. Yes, Your Honor. I've never seen a, my child a day in my life. You've never seen her? A day in my life. But you're convinced she's your daughter? Yes, Your Honor. So why hasn't he seen her? If he feels that way, why hasn't he tried to see her? I've, I've tried to see her, Your Honor. She blocked me all sources of contact. She even changed her number. I tried to reach out to her on social media. I couldn't even get through on that. So you have reached out? Yes, Your Honor. Through social media? <laughs> And tried never. her phone number, but she changed no. her number? Never yes, about no. seeing her. Never. He only, only thing he ever said was, that's my child. That's my child. Never about seeing her. That's not your kid. So why you have never tried to see her ever? And I don't mind because that's not his kid. So why do you believe she's denying you're the father? Why? Because she had sex with another guy at the time. Oh. Well, that's reason to doubt, right? Yes, Your Honor. But not deny. That's what you're saying. Yes, Your Honor. It still remains that you are a possibility. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Miss Scott? We met on a dating site. 
Um, he was kind of like an escape plan for something that I was going through. So an I escape wanted to, plan. Yeah. Escape plan. So, so I, I wanted to get away. Plan. I wanted I to get away from friend. that. I wanted to get away from that. So, you know, I kind of, kind of led him on. I didn't, I wasn't trying to pursue nothing, you know, be no family or anything with this man. We, we met, we, we met together. He asked me to move in with him. I moved in with him. We, we maybe stayed together maybe a month and I left. And when was this? That was in July of 2013. In July. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, okay. we had sex the first night I met her. <laughs> we, we did not. We did not. It was not the first night. It was early, but it wasn't the first night. Miss Scott, did you use protection? No, it wasn't protected. Okay. I was still, like, I was currently in a relationship when I met him mm. originally. Oh. He, was my, he was my escape plan. He was my dummy, basically. Oh. Well, okay. all right. Well, I want you to be honest, but I think you might have just taken it too far. This was my first love, Your Honor. I cared about her. You did? Yes, sir. So your feelings were genuine? Yes, sir. So when she said she would move in, you thought she cared about you as well? Yes, Your Honor. And you thought you guys were going to be a couple? Yes, Your Honor. What happened once she moved in? Uh, once we moved in, I mean, we just kind of, you know, we was hanging out and, you know, talking. And, you know, I was kind of, you know, playing the role as if I wanted a relationship with him. And, you know, we had, during that time of us living together, we had, we had sex a few times. Just a few times. She yeah, left with a another few times. man, Your Honor. She left with another man? Yes, which was no. the man that I was in a relationship with, which is my child's father. So what happened when you found out you were pregnant? Um, I found out I was pregnant September 2013. I was going to the clinic for, you know, my yearly monthly women's exam. Um, and they came in and said, Miss Scott, you're pregnant. And, and Your Honor, you know, I told my daughter's father that we were going to have a baby. I never told... Uh, Mr. Moore, that we were going to have a baby together. I never told him that. Your Honor, she called me and told me she was pregnant. She did? Yes, never, never. And how under... far along was she when she called to tell you? She was a couple of weeks, about three to four weeks, she said. Three to four weeks. And your response was? I might be the possible father because I was having sex with her unprotected multiple times. And at the time, she was messing with the other guy. But she kept telling me, oh, you're not the father. But right, I know I'm the father. Right, because he's not. He's not. And I wasn't three to four Did weeks when I told Did you ask him. her to be involved in the pregnancy? Did you say, I'd like to support you through this? I want to come to the doctor. I want to see my baby be born. Nope, none of that. Damn, this Jezebel concubine, she won't even let the man answer. That's what I say. The judge get him and he be in the courtroom. And when, whenever the judge asks one of the men something, the woman always answers. You know, I, I, I had to do a quick prayer for, the, for this one, so y'all, please forgive me. Let me do a quick prayer. Let's try to save some of these women and some men, but Namio holding Gekio, 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 Namio holding Gekio. Namio holding Gekio, Namio holding Gekio. Exactly what, what it means. Hold on. Here's Jay Crystal. Nam means fuse. I fuse my life. Reoho means mystic law or rhythm of the universe, which many people call God. Ja Allah. Nam Myoho. I fuse my life to the mystic law of the universe based on cause and effect. Renge, cause and effect. Kyo, sound and vibration. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. I fuse my life to the mystic law of the universe based on cause and effect through vibration. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Okay, and that's kind of like, uh, uh, the universal law of attraction. 
you know, it's like if you think positive every day and you think about the universal law of attraction, just attracting, you know, good stuff, good things from the universe. What we don't utilize is our power and our activities between us and the universe. This is the Cyber Power News Network. Now, back to the crack. Yes, Your Honor, I Not tried to. Her dad, he was the one that was there. He took to, went to appointments, every single appointment. And he took me there, took me home. He was he was supportive the whole Did you tell him pregnancy. he was the only possible father or did you tell him Mr. Moore could also be the biological father? I told him he was the daddy. She he told me I didn't need no to other worry daddy. about it, Your Honor. He was the daddy. So, is he on Aliana's Your birth Honor. certificate? Your boyfriend he is mentioned on all of her hospital paperwork and she has his last name she said I and was he's father, listed as Honor. father on the birth right. certificate yes so the court was able to get a hold of her birth certificate under under child's name it reads aliana janelle and then for father's name there's no name listed right but they allow me to give my daughter her dad's name even though his name is on there because he physically wasn't there relationship with Mr. Moore. It you wasn't, it didn't in with carry him, you on. You said July or August. It was only a month. It lasted one but month. But you know it only takes one time yeah, to get I pregnant. Mean, yeah, so what I, I don't understand, no, I mean it does. You know that. You know that. What I'm, I'm trying to understand is why you automatically discount him like because at the time when I found out, I was already two months pregnant. I messed around with Mr. Moore a couple times in a month's time frame. I was two months pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. So when you found out you were pregnant, they said you were eight weeks along. Right. And you had just been intimate with Mr. Moore in within August. the I month. I found out in September, yes, in August. We had sex, you in July and August. Mm. Not, for my, not for my remembrance, mm. no. It, was, it happened in August. But you met Mr. Moore in July. Yeah, we met but in But online. Right. You hadn't met in person yet. No. Until? August. That? No, until July. We moved in together <laughs> oh in God. August. We had sex together in August. After you moved in with him. Right. We didn't have sex when we first met each other. And he it was saying, okay, and this is where the testimony differs significantly. Because you say you had sex with her the first, first day, day you met her. Yes, Which he's honor. wrong. He's wrong. We didn't have sex the first day we met. We had sex after we had moved in together in August. Gotcha. So you're saying you were already pregnant right. from the other guy when you moved in with Mr. Moore. I was, but I didn't know. I didn't find out until September. But in four years, you haven't been able to communicate because in any way about dad. this baby. He's you not are. about I even to even to get the DNA test done. You've never met the child. Never. You wanna, can I speak? Um, my thing about it was when how I heard of Adriana, and this is why I say he's the father, because when me and Mr. Moore first got together, like two months after we had gotten together, I had posted Duntavies on social media. And Miss Scott here, she come in and on there was like, I hope you got money for baby wipes and food. And <laughs> never, 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 Stamp never did that. Stuff never. like that. Never. Why would I do that? He not her daddy. And then on top of that, right after I had, when I had our son together in 2016, Mr. Moore had posted my son on social media. Miss Scott, she took it out of her own perspective and put my baby and her daughter in a collage and sent it to Mr. Moore and was like, we need to get a DNA test done. Mm. Really? Mm. Never so did yeah, that. she like she did that. Never did that. I never did that. And photos of your son and Miss Scott's daughter was submitted to the court. And on the left side is Mr. Moore's other child with you, Miss Williams. Yes. And on the right side is Aliana. They don't look like. His his baby looks like him. My daughter looks like me, and she resembles her dad. She looks like me. She got the same pointy ears just like I do. Pointy ears. A lot of people have pointy ears. Her dad has pointy ears. And she has the same forehead as resembles mine. Child, this big old forehead on my head. Got my, my head. My forehead look like me. My child. If you her daddy, take a test. So you were open to the DNA test because you knew he that wasn't he the wasn't biological her daddy. father. Your Honor, she Never told me don't even worry about her. So when you said, fine, let's do the DNA, he, she, she's not your child, why didn't you ever get it done? She's four. 
He didn't make no effort. If you feel like she yours, even though she's not, which I know, come on, let's go no, take a you test. No, you aren't. Because he's not the daddy. She, he, they, it didn't happen on my end because he's not the daddy, but I never denied him of taking no test. And why are you so upset, Miss Scott? Because it's four years later. Four. And that makes you feel like what? Like, if you, like I just said, if you felt that way, you and your girlfriend, why are we just out here? Why we didn't be, been take a test? You She's are, yes, four. Yes, did. I, I'm there. I, like, I was there. And you feel like now. I raised her. You ain't send no money. You ain't send no, no clothes, no shoes. Ask what size she wear. None of that. A real man would have said, okay, even though you deny her, denying that I am her dad, I believe she is. Let me send her some things. Let me send money for this. Let me send money for that. I probably would have said, we don't need it because you're not the dad, but that was never made. Those type of efforts were never made. Here we go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Moore versus Scott, when it comes to four-year-old Aliana, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Moore, you are the father. You are the father, Mr. Moore. That's your little girl. That's four years I've missed out, but I'll make it up to her. I promise. Miss mm. Scott? Mm. What are you feeling right now? I feel bad that to know that that is his child. She has not known him for four years. Mm. And I've, I've never, I'm 23 years old, I've never had my dad. I always said I wanted if I ever had children, I wanted to always make sure my, chi my children had their bi biological daddy and whether that man and I were together or not to be in their lives. And now I feel like it's my fault because it's been four years. And I feel like I've wronged, I've wronged my daughter uh, four years with him. Listen, I see your pain, but what is so great about each and every day we live, it's another opportunity to do better and get it right. Neither one of you have handled it the best. All women are not wife material. A Jezebel can be selfish. If a woman were raised without a father, then for sure there was a man, a friend, or some other male family member that's been around most of the woman's life. Usually that man or person would have told that woman the truth about a man. That a man will always have and want more than one woman, it's the nature of a man. All women are not wife material. A Jezebel can be selfish. If a woman were raised without a father, then for sure, there was a man, a friend, or some other male family member that's been around most of the woman's life. Usually that man or person would have told that woman the truth about a man. That a man will always have and want more than one woman, it's the nature of a man. Eve summed it all up. If a female's not a virgin, it's impossible for her to become a wife. That leaves three things that a woman can be, that's, a hoe, a Jezebel, or in biblical terms, a concubine. King Solomon had 300 wives, and 200 concubines. That means those 300 wives had to be virgins to marry the king. All others, girlfriends, concubines and others, knew their positions on the totem pole. If they didn't, or felt that they were going to fornicate because of Solomon having sex with his 300 wives and them, the king would have cut their heads from their shoulders, it would have been off with their head. This is why most marriages seldomly never last, and that's why there are so many single mothers, call it the universal way. Most women will take this the wrong way because of the fight that's been instilled in their minds by the master with only a mother to raise the offspring, boy or girl. It becomes like mother, like daughter, like mother, like son. This is all according to the effects of slavery. 
afterwards with so many boyfriends, stepfathers, so-called affiliate, random soulmates usually always being the ones that ends up raping young daughters and sons, for forth creating pedophiles. All you single mothers are looking for love in all the wrong places, let's call it love after life, the wife effect ends after the first time engaging in sex, after the hymen wall is penetrated. Physiologically, the hymen is a thin piece of tissue that is present on the vaginal wall. Mostly, it appears as a fringe of tissue around the vaginal opening, around 10-15% of women don't have a hymen at birth. So the question of breaking the hymen and losing the virginity doesn't exist, a woman can get pregnant even if the hymen is intact. This is because of the small opening in the hymen that allows the sperm to enter the vagina and lead to pregnancy. So the hymen is still intact but you are pregnant. Leaves most men only the choice of selecting a Jezebel, and then they continue selecting women that already have children, just for sex. She who has an ear, hears wisdom. Through the sexual trespass of Eve, allowing the serpent to seduce her in the garden, and many years later, introducing sex to Adam. Now destroying each other for a lifetime, due to the lack of scriptural knowledge. That's why men rather have young women, girls ladies, confused with their lust, but all the time seeking a real wife. A virgin, that's the only way, is to find a virgin to wife. If Adam hadn't hearkened to the sin that Eve finally offered him, God could have easily created him another woman, a virgin to wife, Eve messed up having sex with the serpent, allowing him to pop her cherry. Yes there was no apple, the unforbidden fruit was sex. The serpent was a reptilian, alien man, not a snake. In our earlier days of slavery, we were afflicted by the whip. Other than that being the cause of a man not being able to raise his family, a father's job was to instruct his sons and daughters how to live their lives. As for his little girls, teach them and direct them as of who their husbands were gonna be, from childhood, and before giving her away to her husband, the father also made sure she remained a fresh fruit of the garden, a virgin, if women don't stop taking advice from these stupid ass brainwash trick liberal women. Sodomites. Plain parenthood sluts, teaching a woman that they don't need a man. Wisdom, there can't be a family, without a man, a father, a helpmate, women are subconsciously fighting against a man, that's the agenda. But you still want penis, you will always be a single mother, with benefits, right? Running your sons and daughters, through the ringer. Just be a woman. You will never be a man. Or will you? A man can impregnate 10 to 15 women in a month. A woman's mindset is only get revenge. Lock him up. If I can't have him, nobody will. Troll away the key, and he'll just return back to my master of choice. I will remain a concubine, but without his ass, horror, trick, girlfriend, lady of leisure, a stripper forever, maybe become a rapper, how y'all like me now. The fact is that we've inherited a den of demons, that has corrupted our souls, so now what? Don't despise the message, nothing new the under the sun, as words is, my personal opinion. Right as in people, right dealing marks. with the effects of slavery, we don't stand a chance of What's being been going on in the dark in world, y'all, is slowly coming to the surface. I was chilling a little bit, but I thought that I might uh, add one more of uh, 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 Judge uh, Lauren Lake's preliminary, uh, I don't even know how to fuck with it now, her court thing. I want to put one more. This right here, this is a, this is a, a what you call a, a thotty bell. There you are. Ms. Woods, you say you had a brief sexual relationship with Mr. Volmar, which resulted in him intentionally impregnating you. You say Mr. Volmar now refuses to take responsibility for his child, and you are here today 
to prove he is your baby's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Volmar, you say Ms. Woods is a manipulative liar who was sleeping with multiple men during the time of conception and is so desperate to be with you that she's decided to pin her child on you. Is that correct? You can't blame her. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, Ms. Woods, how did you get involved with Mr. Volmar? I was going through some issues with my other kid's father, and... Which one? One night, I went to the club and wound up running into Mr. Vermore. He actually walked up to me while I was having a drink, and he whispered in my ear and told me that I looked like something that he, you know, he could see himself with. So, we exchanged numbers. I wound up leaving the club. He called me the following morning and asked me, can I come over to his house? I told him yes, but I had, to wait, I had to make sure that, you know, my baby father was leaving out for work that following morning. So I headed to Mr. Vermore's house. We wound up drinking and smoking. One thing led to another. We wound up having sex. The condom popped, and I told him, like, I'm a fast breeder. Like, I have four other kids. <laughs> So a fast he's, breeder. Yes, she's I'm a fast definitely breeder. Definitely a fast breeder. I'm, Let's just say fertile. Yes, I'm fertile. I'm sorry. Okay. He told me he had he was in a relationship for five years, and um, he, the girl wasn't able to, you know, get pregnant. So you admit you had a sexual relationship with Miss Woods. That's it. And you weren't in a committed relationship. Never. And once she told you she was pregnant, did you immediately think it was your child? No. You didn't? No. What were you thinking, sir? I said, wow, congratulations. Do you agree with her assertion that when no. you all had sex, the condom broke? Condom broke. The condom broke. It was sex. It was fun. Okay. A lot of fun. And, and okay. And, and the condom broke. Yeah. So at the point that she tells you she's pregnant, you don't believe you're the biological father? Or yeah. do you remember that night when the condom broke? I kind of remember the night that the condom broke. There was a couple of nights the condom broke. And I just said, you know what? If I got it, I already got it. Who needs condoms anymore? So, wait, you're admitting that then you started having unprotected sex with her? Oh, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the point is, is that you admit that you could be this child's father. Right. I don't know. You don't know, but you could be. I, I don't know because, you know, I've tried it before. It didn't work. I don't so know. So, when you say you tried it before and it didn't work, what do you mean? I it's tried well. to get three different women pregnant. And when I stop trying, she gets pregnant. I don't know. It don't add up to me. Okay. And so, Ms. Woods, when you told him you were pregnant, what was his response? He automatically told me that he wasn't the father because I was staying with a man at the time. You and... lived with him. You just it can't visit me. It does not matter. I was at your house every day, so how I had time to have sex with you and have sex with him? You well, uh, wait a minute night. now, went Ms. To sleep Woods. In the bed with him. I mean, of course you're gonna have sex. Ms. Woods, man. if you were living with him, you were still in a relationship with him, right? Right. I was in a relationship but you with my having... other kids' father, but I was not having sex with him within that month I conceived. So when you found out you were pregnant. I automatically knew he was the father because I was not dealing with him. You lived with him. How can you not be dealing with him? You was driving his car. You wanted this baby. At the end of the day, you wanted a baby. You kept saying how I make beautiful kids. You wanted a baby. I was I did not sex. want a, I That's did not want a child because sex. I had four other kids. I did not want no child with him. I was talking in the heat of the moment. Like, come on, man, really? So, Ms. Woods, you saying you were in a relationship with your other child's father. Right. You were having sex with Mr. Volmar. No, you can just call me side you piece. You told him... Side piece. Well, basically, that's what you were. Exactly. I, and I, I was the same. It. I was the same to I him. told like, her, I'm the side the piece. I'm a good was, side I piece. So, so wait a minute. Attacked. You were have You had Mr. Volmar She'll on the side. She'll be on the phone with her boyfriend. I'll be laying in the bed, rubbing on her booty, <laughs> while she's talking to him. Okay, I was a good side dude. I didn't say anything. Yeah, no problems. Come over whenever you want. We had fun. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, Miss Woods, did yeah. you ever tell your ex that he could be Madison's father? When I found out I was pregnant, I have no choice but to tell him that he might be the father because I was staying with him at the time. So, I'm stuck having a baby. Are you? 
Yeah, I had the baby. By who? By you. Are you sure? I'm positive. You told I'm 100 percent sure. I don't even know his name. You told look at boyfriend. that baby. That baby looks just like you. She don't look nothing like me. She that baby don't have exactly anything like for you. me but my toes. That baby look exactly she like has him. Your head. His eyes, his nose, his she facial has your structure. Feet. That baby look just like him. I'm, I'm you make the same faces. I remember. <laughs> That's you. Mr. Volmar, let's 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 try to take this seriously, really, because. Yeah, because this is why I cannot deal with him, and this is why I didn't want no baby for him, because the type of attitude he have, how he's set up, like, he, ju he just ignorant, and I cannot deal with but him. But no, I no, no but Miss Woods, you were dealing with him. Yeah, That's why we're here. Because I was going through something with my other she kids' She likes father. the ignorance, Your Honor. I was going through something with my other kids' father. At the time, he you made me feel good like. about myself. She upgraded when she dealt with me. You have a boyfriend. So why would you mess things up by going to be with Mr. Volmar because repeatedly? It was, just, it was just so much going on with my other kids' father. Like, the fussing and fighting, like, I got tired of that. So let's go cheat on him. Pretty much. Good job. Good job. You sleep with Mr. Volmar, another guy. No, we had sex. There was no sleeping. Oh. Sex. <laughs> No sleeping. Let, let's just be respectful in court. He just, he ruled. He ruined my relationship at the end of the no, day. No, you ruined your no, relationship. No, no. You ruined it. I, you don't ruined think, it. I don't think he ruined it. I, I think, Miss do... Woods, you have to own the fact that you ruined it. I own it. I own that story. You ruined it. I you had a it. relationship. It seems like, I mean, you've probably been going through some problems. Right. I and have. that's that's what couples do. I mean, there's that old saying that, you know, the way that you get over one person is to get under another person. Right. And that's, and that's not what, true. And that's what happens. But she that's not run. true, right. as you can see. Right. I mean, she's a beautiful baby, but... I, yes, I don't, she is. I don't see me in her at all. Miss Woods, what are your hopes for today? I mean, this is, this is not an easy situation. Right. I just want to lay everything out on the table. I want him to see that Madison is his daughter. I want his mother to see. I want his whole entire family to see that this is his child. I don't have no reason to throw a child on him. He's a loser. <laughs> Let's be respectful. Okay, Jan, I'm sorry. But I just want him to see that this is his child. Step up and do what he got to do as far as providing for this child. She likes having sex with losers. Listen. Just being honest. Let's just keep the decorum. Okay. Because this is a very serious time. Right. You came here for answers, and I have those answers for you. Okay. Jerome? Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Woods versus Volmar, when it comes to four-month-old Madison Woods, it has been determined by this court Mr. Volmar, you are the father. Thank you! Thank you! You're the father. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. You are the father. That is your beautiful little girl. Exactly. Looking just like him. Yeah, I like that one. That one, I, I, I kind of did. I played the whole damn thing because I like that girl's... her, her voice. I like the way she... <laughs> Like, just, just can just imagine knocking them damn boots. I know that she's making them. She I didn't think she was so cute, but she's cute in her own little way. But that, that damn voice, there's something about it, boy. Imagine her humming and polishing, doing the polish and shit, and humming with that voice. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't be saying that. Anyway. I'm A. Brown, and this has been Cyber Power News Network. And we're going to be coming with some more stuff. I, I love uh, uh, Judge, Judge uh, uh, Lake. She's, she's something else. She, she's the bomb, too. She used to sing in a couple of groups. She sang with, with, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Do the dance. Uh, P. Diddy. And, you know, she's on stage. Traveling. She's a very interesting woman. Thank you, Judge Blake. Please don't be angry with me for using your stuff. I think it's it's good. I'm sure you, I'm sure you didn't heard some of my, some of my uh, comments. It's disgusting. But anyway, um, the music tracks that you hear 
will be original music tracks by Ross Star, aka A Brown. So I'm gonna lay them on the line. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you enjoy this. Down the facts, you know what I'm saying? Running down the facts. I got some new music coming at you a little bit later too. I got some a new. I can't even tell you the name of it because I don't want nobody to use this name because ain't nobody using it ever in their life. One love. Oh, hold up. Let me do this for you and then I'm out. Okay. Namio holding gang yo Namio holding gang yo Namio holding gang yo Namio holding gang yo I'm still learning so I'll make sweet love to you Give it to your strong Even have your bag Later And I'll put you to sleep girl when it's all over Get on the floor